So on this video, I will show you some simple tricks on how you can do jumper sound problem on any mobile PCB by showing you one important thing on this PCB that you need to know before you can fix any type of sound problem on any mobile PCB. For you to understand what I'm going to show you right here, you need to understand how the sound IC turns out to give the sound on your speaker that you are always getting. Okay, so yeah you are really okay to learn this stuff so make sure you give this video a like before continue watching and then subscribe to this channel for more tutorial videos so on this PCB right here this is the sound IC and if you have been following my videos you won't be asking how do I know that this is the sound IC and if you don't know how to identify this sound IC on any mobile PCB then I will put a video up here that you can click now watch before you come continue this video or you can check on this video description you will see a video on how you can identify this sound IC on any mobile PCB okay so now that you know that this is the sound IC you need to understand where is the sound coming from how does this sound IC get you the sound that you are getting on your speaker so what I want you to understand before I show you how you can do the jumper right here is that this sound IC has only two important inputs you understand so the first input is a power voltage and the power voltage comes directly to the power manager IC to power up the sound IC then the other input is the sound information which is coming directly from the CPU and here is the CPU so the information the sound information for example when you are playing music on your phone the inform the CPU just understand that here is a music playing and music is playing on this phone so the CPU will send that sound information to the to the sound IC then the power IC will power up the sound IC so that the sound IC will generate that sound then we have two filter resistors right here to filter the sound so how can you do jumper right here for example let's say I just remove this this motherboard from a phone that is not having sound problem and the speaker is right down on the on the down board so what you need to do right here you first need to understand that the sound that is coming directly to the speaker is from these two resistors which means that if you wanna do jumper maybe there is some open secret from these two resistors to the speaker you just have to connect a cable on the other side of this resistor then connect one on this other side of this resistor then go with it directly to the speaker and if you do this if you do this and still yet you don't get any sound then you will need to come back then connect it on this other side maybe the resistor is broken so if you connect it on this other side then get a sound that means that this resistor is broken and you will need to replace the resistor right right here so that you will get your sound filtered because maybe if you connect it right here the sound won't be that clear because this resistor right here is to filter the sound that is coming out from the sound IC okay so yeah you are really okay to learn this stuff so make sure you give this video a like and then subscribe to this channel for more tutorial videos